a little tutorial to show you what all the different Transform 2D related nodes do. Transforming in two dimensions is basically moving your object either to the left or to the right or up or down or rotating them. Let's start with the first node. We're gonna make a Transform 2D. And we connect it to the quad. I use a quad here, but you can basically use any of these DX9 nodes. So you could also use an axis, a cylinder, a pillow. I'm going to show these in the next tutorial. Okay, the Transform 2D. As you already know, a renderer goes from minus 1 to plus 1 with 0, 0.0 in the center. You can use the translate pins to move to the left or to the right or up and down. You can make it smaller by scaling. Or you can rotate it around. This rotation takes place around the center points. A full rotation is 1 and not 360. This might sound odd, but it's really helpful because in VVV almost all the values are between 0 and 1. Try to remember it as rotations. We are counting in rotations. 360 degrees is one rotation and 180 degrees is a half rotation or 0 0.5. The reason why you don't see this is because the quad is squared to a square. I can also make higher rotations than 1. And I can also use negative values. So when I go up with my values, I rotate counterclockwise. And when I go down, I rotate clockwise. A rotation of 5 will look like 0. But if we were to animate this and go from 0 to 5, you should see it rotating 5 times. I will demonstrate this later on in this tutorial. Time to look at the center pins. If you are familiar with other graphical programs like Adobe Photoshop, you might know the center points as anchor points. It is the anchor or starting point from which all movement happens. The width and height of an object is always one, so it's one object. And that means that the center points go from minus a half till plus a half. And this is not dependent on the scale of the object. The rotation takes place around the center point but also the translation takes place around the center point. So if I set the center point x value to minus 0.5, minus 0.5, you will see the quad has moved to the right. If I now rotate this quad, you can see that the rotation now takes place around the left side of the quad. If I place the center point on the corner of the quad, minus 0.5, and now I rotate, you see the rotation occurs around the corner. And if I scale my quad and then rotate it, the rotation will still occur around the corner. So the scale of an object is not important for the center points. If I delete the transform, the quad will appear again in its default position. Select it and hit the delete key. Ok, let's check out another transform node, the rotate one. Rotate transform. Connect it to the quad. This rotate node provides us with two more rotation functions. But we don't have center points here. The center points of these rotations are the axes. If I rotate here, I will rotate along the x-axis. If I rotate the i, I will rotate along the i-axis. Although we are working in two dimensions, the Z rotation also works and basically does the same as the rotate pin on the Transform 2D. Let's look at the other node, the Scale node. Scale Transform. You can connect transforms to each other. And I will talk about this later in another tutorial when I'm talking about Transform High RGs. So for now I just delete the rotate node and connect the scale to the quad. The scale node does exactly the same as the scaling on a normal transform node. Only we also got a Z scale 
and in two dimensions it doesn't do anything. So it's for you to decide if you want to use this node or not. Another very cool node is a trapeze node. Trapeze transform. Let's delete the scale and connect the trapeze to the quad. The trapeze node lets you kind of screw your object along the x-axis, along the y-axis, or along the z-axis, and which you won't see in two dimensions. Of course, every pin of these nodes is spreadable, meaning you can connect a spread to them. Well, let's delete this. Let me show you what I mean. I make a transform 2D again, connect it to the quad, and now I'm going to create a spread generator, the well-known linear spread. And now I connect this to the rotate X pin. And if I increase the spread ground, we get this nice star shape. And if I play with the center points, we can create all these interesting shapes. There are a few more pretty advanced transform nodes, like the arbitrary point. And there are some pretty decent tutorials on that on the VVV website. You can find them under user tutorials. And there's also a very good tutorial there to learn a bit more about rotation and angles. So I would really suggest to check out these user made tutorials. And once again, they are linked under the documentation on the VVV website. Okay, let's delete this again and let's do some rotation animation. I make a transform 2D again. What I want to show is I want to rotate this quad 5.4 times in 2 seconds. Now why 0.4 times so you see the result. So I want to go from this to this in 2 seconds. There are many many methods for this but I will use the input morph way. I make an input morph. And we go from 0 to 5.4. I connect this to the rotation pin. The input morph is a bit like a switch, which can morph between the input 1 and the input 2 value. All in a range between 0 and 1. I can also make an I.O. box. If I move the switch value up to a half, you see we got 2.7 and that's exactly in the middle of 0 and 5.4. You can also use a map node for this. Oh, and by the way, this is not a map node because I can increase the amount of input pins. Now I want to create something that goes from 0 to 1 in exactly 2 seconds. I know I got an IO box toggle. And this goes from 0 to 1 in an instant. 0, 1. To get the in-between values between 0 and 1, I need a filter. So let's make a linear filter, linear filter animation. Connect the IO box toggle to the go to position and the position out to the input morph. And we're almost good to go. The linear filter goes from zero to one in one second, but I said two seconds, so I changed this in two. And now it goes from zero to one in two seconds. In the girl power folder in VVVV there is a cool patch called compare filters and this patch will quickly demonstrate different types of filters. Well that's it for the basic transform. In the next tutorial I will be showing you some other shapes like segments, spheres and ropes.